ladies and gentlemen, let's try game into the home video. Let us discuss Watch Dogs for the PC. So there's a bit of trailer and an announcement of sorts for the PC version of Watch Dogs. And lead engineer of the title was speaking about various pieces of technology that are being implemented. Now, of course, we're going to be seeing better graphics on the PC version of the game. And interestingly enough, they're working with NVIDIA to include a few specific pieces of technology. Now, the first is HBAO, which stands for Horizon-Based Ambient Occlusion. Now, this is an advanced version of uh, SBAO. Now, this is the plus version, might I add. They're using a HBAO plus. And unlike the previous versions of SSAO, which is the previous version, HBAO is a physically based algorithm. Um, so it basically will approximate lighting and shadows and everything else that you'd expect, but is actually significantly faster than standard HBAO. So that's pretty cool and in theory that means we're going to be seeing much nicer looking um, shadows and lighting sources on the game. In addition we're going to be seeing TXAA, anti-aliasing, anti I'm sorry, technology. Um, in case you're not too familiar with TXAA, it's a uh, temporal anti-aliasing. Now, TXAA is being used on several games. It's, for example, appeared in Assassin's Creed 3. And NVIDIA are championing this. It's kind of their own, um, their own technology. It helps to provide pretty good, good performance. It's certainly better than, say, MSAA times 8 or something. Uh, but in addition to that, it also reduces the shimmering that you may associate with something like FXAA and it actually is integrated directly into the game's engine as well and it combines pretty much MSAA so that's a multi-sample anti-aliasing technique with technique I'm sorry with a temporal filter and in theory produces a much cleaner looking image there are of course going to be a slew of other graphical options on the PC, although a lot of these haven't been completely and utterly announced yet, and we know the game is going to require a fairly beefy system to run. Now, the title is going to be launching May the 27th for the PS3, PS4, PC, Xbox 360, and uh, Xbox One, and apparently the Wii U version is still in development and will launch at some point in the not too distant future. They've not really given the specific release date as far as I'm aware. Strangely enough, GameStop have also leaked the listing for the game season pass. In theory, that's going to allow us to play as additional playable characters, but that's not been confirmed as yet by Ubisoft. As I said, this is just from um, uh, GameStop's own leak. So anyway, it looks like we're going to be getting a pretty nice looking PC version. There was a lot of concern going about regarding how it's going to look on PC, particularly after the various accusations regarding the downgrades of the game's engine compared to the initial unveiling. Anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video and obviously, uh, yeah, I see you soon, take care and bye for now.